Hey everyone, so this is another video in our Shopify upgrades series where we recreate features of successful e-commerce brands. And today we're taking a look at Kitsch. If you take a look at the top corner here, they have this animated pulsing cart bubble that tells us that there's something in the cart. So I know personally when I'm shopping and I'll have like 20 tabs open, I'll start to forget what I'm actually browsing for. Uh, and so, you know, I'll just start to close all of these tabs. Um, but the other day I was closing these tabs and I saw this cart count bubble flashing, right? And it caught my attention and it reminded me, oh crap, I actually wanted to buy this. And so what I do, I ended up buying. So it really can work to help boost conversions. And um, we actually previously did a similar video on this, uh, but now we've added the animation in and we've also included option to uh, enable the settings in your theme editor. So in this video, we'll be showing you our implementation of this feature. Uh, and you can find the instructions and the code in our new school community, the Prompted Insiders. So if you join, besides getting this customization, you'll get a whole suite of exclusive member-only customizations, tools, automations, and theme files. We've got a lot of stuff in there. And on top of that, you'll be getting our marketing strategies and Facebook ad account structures. So there's a lot of things in there. Um, and the best part is we're in there, so you'll get personalized support from us to help your brand grow. This is a new community, but as an early member, you'll get more access to us and your questions and comments can help shape the direction of the new content we make in there. So check it out, link is in the description. All right, so let's take a look at the cart count bubble animation. Okay, so we're taking a look at our demo store and we are looking at our product page, the prompted original t-shirt. And so if we just add an item into the cart, we're gonna see here that um, we've got this cart count bubble. It shows one item and it's pulsing, it's red. It really draws your attention. Um, so that's pretty much it, right? If you remove the item from the cart, it goes away. Um, and we can you know, add a couple of additional items to cart. This time it's three. Anything, Anytime there's something in the cart, you'll get that pulsing uh, cart count bubble. So if we go into our theme settings, um, you can see here theme settings. We'll scroll down into cart, right? And then we added these settings right here. And so these aren't going to be in here by default. Um, we're gonna show you how to add this in. Uh, but what you have here is the option to enable it. So this is sort of like your master switch. Um, you can turn it on or off. Um, and then you can choose the color that you want and whether the animation is active. So let's just add something into the cart. Okay, so we can see here, we've got this pulsing cart count bubble. If we turn off our master switch, then, uh, and just save this. Okay, so now it'll just behave like default. So. Um, if you want to just go back to how the current count bubble is behaving um, with just sort of your, your default settings, then this is what it does. So by enabling this, you actually can now assign your own color. So in this case, we've got this red, but you know, maybe you can make it a blue if you prefer. And then um, it'll turn into a blue once I save. Okay, so there we go. Um, and so you can make this match your brand colors or choose another color to just really uh, stand out and draw attention. And this checkbox here is to enable whether or not we want the animation. So if you uncheck that, then the uh, animation will go away. There we go, it's just, now it's just um, a solid color of your choice. Okay, so that's pretty much the customization. Okay, so we're now in our Shopify admin area and we can now add the cart count bubble animation to our theme. Now, the code that I'm about to share can be found in our school community, the Prompted Insiders. So if you wanna add this to your store, then check out our community. Uh, there's a ton of other customizations in there as well, not just this one. So, um, you know, we'd love to see you inside there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make our edits on Dawn version 15.1.0. This is the latest version of Dawn as, the, as of the time of recording. 
and uh, we're going to edit code. Now, before we start, make sure you duplicate your theme. Um, just in case anything goes wrong, then you can always revert back to your previous version because you have your copy. Uh, so we're going to edit code and we are working on a fresh version. So if we go into our theme settings, we can see here under the cart settings that we don't have the option for the cart count bubble. And so we're going to add that in right now. So the first step is we're going to go into our settings schema.json file. We're going to scroll to the very bottom um, or you can control F and look for cart. And we're going to come to the bottom here uh, and add our settings in. So we'll just copy and paste our code and then save. And then next, we're going to go to the theme.liquid file. And we have a couple of edits that we need to make here. So the first one is we're going to scroll down past all these uh, CSS variables that are being defined. We're going to add our own. And then we're going to copy and paste some uh, code below this CSS, base.css lines right here. Okay, we're going to save that. And now we're going to create a couple new files. So the first one is going to be called component cart count bubble.css. So it's going to be called this right here. And we're going to copy and paste our code and save. And then we're going to create another one. Um, again, it's going to be a CSS file. This one is going to be called the component cart count bubble animation. And we're just going to paste our code into here. And we're done. That's that's it right now. And so we can just refresh our page. And now we can see we've got our cart count bubble settings. So right now it's by default, this black color. And if we enable it, it's well, still going to be black, but we can change this color. Let's make this red. Okay, now we can see that's red. And if we enable the cart count bubble animation, you can see it pulsing just like that. And so that's pretty much it. So that's the animated cart count bubble. There's a couple of settings in there to make it your own. And if you want to add this customization or any other customizations that we share on this channel, then we share all the code and instructions in our school community, the Prompted Insiders. You'll get a whole suite of exclusive customizations. You'll get tools, automations, marketing strategies. Um, and then we'll also be there to support you, to help your brand grow with any questions or requests that you have. So check it out. Link is in the description, but that's it for today. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next one.